Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and in this video we will talk about arrhythmogenic cardiomyopathy. This disease is also called Naxos disease or Carvajal syndrome. I'm sorry if I mispronounced those. The disease is responsible for 25 to 50 percent of sudden cardiac death in athletes and we will look into what exactly that is and what happens to the hearts of those sportists. So let's start with the definition. The arrhythmogenic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart which is characterized by the progressive dystrophy and remodeling of the myocardium into adipose and connective tissue, which shows with life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. The disease affects most often the right ventricle but the left ventricle can be affected as well. It occurs in 1 out of 2,000 to 1 out of 5,000 births and is three times as common in boys than in girls. Research suggests that the disease is inherited by a number of gene mutations. So when a patient is confirmed to have this type of cardiomyopathy, the relatives, especially siblings, should be checked if they have it as well. In most cases, the disease is inherited autosomal dominantly. It is thought that those mutations cause a defect in the cell-cell contact, especially of the desmosomes of the cardiomyocytes, which leads to a defect in the gap junctions of the cells, which in turn causes a conduction disorder of the heart, causing arrhythmia. Besides arrhythmia, patients also often experience syncopes and palpitations. The onset of symptoms is usually between the second and third decade of life. There are also patients in which the first clinical sign is a sudden stop of the functioning of the heart. In those cases, a immediate cardiopulmonary reanimation is necessary to save their life. So now we know what the disease is, but how do we diagnose it? There are several different tests that we can do. Let's first talk about the ECG. The most specific sign, which is seen in around 50% of patients, is the epsilon wave. This is a wave right at the end of a QRS complex. We can also sometimes observe a localized QRS widening in V1 to V3, so a QRS complex with a duration of more than 110 milliseconds. In lead V1 to V3, we can also sometimes observe a T-wave inversion in the absence of a right bundle branch block. This is seen in around 85% of patients. Patients also often have episodes of ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardias are life-threatening and should not be mistaken with supraventricular tachycardias. Another diagnostic method is the echocardiography. It is usually the initial step in diagnosis. The hallmark findings include a ventricular dilation and diastolic aneurysms that form due to the thinning and fatty remodeling of the muscular tissue and an insufficient systole. It is also possible to check the patient for the already known genetic traits of the disease to confirm the presence of the mutation before clinical symptoms occur. The last diagnostic approach is the histological examination of the heart. Unfortunately, this is usually done after the patient died to confirm the cause of death. In the histological slide, it is possible to see that the wall of the ventricle is to a large extent replaced by adipocytes and connective tissue. In the last point, I would like to talk about the treatment. So first of all, as we said, it is the cause of sudden death in athletes but also other patients. Our first treatment approach is to advise the patients to stop during strenuous or heavy exercise. Other than that, 
we can give the patient antiarrhythmic drugs. Beta-adrenergic blocking agents are given to reduce the adrenergic stimulated arrhythmia. Another way of therapy is to implant a cardioverter defibrillator in patients who have a high risk to suffer from sudden cardiac death. High risk patients include those that had to be resuscitated due to a cardiac arrest and had syncopes before, those who have severe arrhythmia that is not fully responsive to antiarrhythmics, and those who have a first degree relative who suffered from cardiac arrest. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. Thank you very much.